Good afternoon, Summit family. My name is Hannah. For those of you who do not know, I am the scheduling coordinator here at Summit Family Chiropractic, and I have some very exciting news to share with you today. We are launching our scheduling app. We are so excited to be giving this out to you all to start using. So in this video, I'm going to briefly go over the features of the app, and then a little bit later in the video, I'll show you exactly what the app looks like, how to use it, and the features of it just right on there. I'll screen record my phone so that you can see exactly what it looks like. So to start off, the app is going to be using the phone number that we have on file for you. So if you've been currently getting text messages, make sure you use that phone number to register with the app. If we don't have a cell phone number on file for you and you haven't been getting any text messages, but you would like to utilize the app, call or stop at the front desk and we can definitely get that updated for you. So with the app, it's going to show all of your appointments, which is super great so you can see what's coming up, when your next appointment is. And so the app allows you to reschedule your appointments within a seven day period. And if you are not given an option to reschedule an appointment, that means it is a time sensitive appointment such as a progress evaluation or x-rays or something along those lines. So you will have to either text or call or stop at the front desk in order to reschedule that appointment. I know some of you like to end up switching your days from maybe if you were Tuesdays at 2 p.m. to Wednesdays at 7.30 and you wanted to switch it all your future appointments to that, you can't do that on the app, so you will still have to contact the front desk in order to do so, which we will be more than happy to do that for you. But if you ever have something come up, uh, an emergency or another appointment, you can just go on the app yourself and then reschedule your appointment to a different date within that seven day period. You can also schedule walk-in adjustments or extra adjustments. So if you fear, are feeling a little sore one week and you feel like you need to um, get an extra adjustment in that week, you can just go on the app and schedule that appointment. Depending on each person's care plan, there may be an additional cost for additional adjustments. And so if you are unsure of that cost, just check with the front desk if you're not sure what that price is and we will be more than happy to let you know. On the app, you cannot cancel appointments. So you will still need to text or call or contact the front desk of some sorts um, in order to do so. Of course, um, we don't want you to not be making up those appointments. So if you're sick or out of town um, and you're not sure when you're gonna be back, uh, you can give us a call or if you know you're going to be back, We'd like you to get that appointment rescheduled as soon as possible. You can also add uh, children to your the parents account so any of your dependents and you can manage their appointments as well. So make sure you just know what phone number is on file for your uh, children or dependents file. If you're not sure just contact the front desk if you do not know um, if maybe both parents are under care it may be one of the two um, parents phone number that may be on file so just double check with us if uh, you're having a hard time with that the app is connected to our schedule so if they if you reschedule or schedule an appointment it will show up right away and time slots in the app will always be up to date so you won't have to worry about double booking or booking a spot that's not actually available and you can't book another appointment on a day that you already have one scheduled um, it won't give you an option to do that, but you'll see anyways that you do have an appointment scheduled that day when looking at all your appointments. You can also confirm appointments through the app. So we recommend just doing this the day before your appointment because we know a lot can change even in 24 hours, but even more than 24 hours, there's a big variability on something that could pop up, whether it be an emergency or something like that. This is just a great way for you to let us know that you will be for sure making it to your appointment. If the text message with the app link, um, if you didn't get that or you accidentally deleted the message, we will have flyers in the office with instructions on how to download and set up the app. If you are needing of any assistance, see the front desk or one of our other CAs and we can definitely help you with that. Okay, now I'm going to go into showing you what the app looks like on my phone and how to use it. 
Okay guys, so this is what the scheduling app looks like. So here it shows all of my future appointments um, just right now through February of next year. And so what I can do if I want to reschedule an appointment is I'm just going to click on the appointment I would like to reschedule. And then here you can also confirm your appointment or reschedule. So if I was gonna make it, I'd click confirm, but I'm gonna reschedule. So don't change that appointment type, just leave that there. And then you're gonna click select schedule. Here it will show you all of the available times within the next seven days. And so here I would just look through, figure out what time and day I wanted to reschedule to. And it's again going to be up to date with our schedule. I'll click on that time and then click schedule this appointment and it will automatically update my appointment time and change it on our end as well. So as you can see, it went from 2 to 2.30 today, Tuesday, November 10th. And then if I wanted to schedule an extra adjustment, I clicked schedule next appointment. You want to make sure to change that appointment type from adjustment to adjustment walk-in. That's very important, important so that we know it's an extra appointment for you. You'll click select schedule after that and it will pull up for all of this week, next week, and then a couple of days into the week after. Um, most likely you'll, if you're wanting to schedule an extra adjustment, it's gonna be that same week, but it does give you some more options. I'll click that a time and then you click schedule this appointment. I'm just not gonna do that right now because I didn't wanna get another appointment added onto there. Another feature is you can, uh, for your dependents, you'd click schedule for someone else and then you click that plus to add your first dependent. Type in their first, last name, and phone number and add new dependent. You'll get an access code uh, provided to your email and or phone number via text and you'd wanna click that in after that. And then another feature on the app is you can view all of the messages that you have been receiving via text. So all your appointment confirmations, any back and forth texting, and then you can also click find our clinic information. So address, phone number, call or message the clinic. And then in this part here, you can manage what notifications you get. So if you do leave the push notifications on in the app, you will get text messages on your normal messages on your phone as well as in the app. So if you would prefer to just use the app or vice versa and just use your normal texting, you can click one of those on and off so that you're only getting um, alerts on one end of that. And so here, back to all of my appointments, I didn't show the login information, how you log in, just because I didn't want to show my information. But if you have any questions, just let us know.